Over on Penguin Island, the population is still recovering. Two years ago, avian malaria claimed the lives of 26 Humboldt penguins. It was a tragic loss of life. But every sad ending is a chance for a new beginning. Jeans with the keepers tasked with trying to rebuild the colony. And today, they've got some great news. Hi, girl. Hello. Hello. It's exciting. Can we go for it? Off to town, open the door. Who do we have here? So here we have three new penguins, Humboldt penguins, to join our colony. Right, let's get them in. Yeah. Hello. First time of uh, Welcome to my house. <laughs> to me so what happens now do you just let them out um, we've got to give them a bit of a health check first to make sure they handle the transport okay yeah um, as well as we're going to tag them with our own individual tags because each zoo will have its own different system and just checking their microchip as well right let's get the first one out come on then out you come oh, no thank you out you come come on now there you are there you go sweetie hello so at this point straight into the health check Two, two, four, two. That would be peanut. This one's boy, so we're tagging on the left wing. Welcome to your new home, city. Okay. Is that him ready to join the others? One more thing. Mm -hmm. We always check their feet before we move them into the colony. So okay. um, they're prone to something called bumblefoot. And what are you looking for on this? So we're looking for any signs of bumblefoot. So it almost looks like a scab. Right. So that bit there looks like could have had a tiny bit of bumblefoot in the past, but nothing, nothing to worry, worry about. about. Okay. Both feet are perfectly healthy. Yep, so one down, two more to go. So once he's sterilised, how many will be in the colony? Um, so we'll actually have 15 in the colony. Mm -hmm. And that. Um, it's going to increase our numbers as well, and then we're going to add another four. So we'll have a total of 19, bringing in fresh blood, and, and basically new penguins will basically mix up the group and make them want to breed with each other, pair up with each other. So naturally in the wild, they live in really large colonies, so that's what we want to do here. It's actually really exciting, isn't it? It is. It's so much fun bringing in new penguins, as they've all got their own personalities and characters. Yes. And um, it's basically adding a family member to your, to your colony. Oh, and this one's a little bigger than the other two, isn't it? So this one is called Doug. Almost time to join the others. And we'll be back later when these newbies meet the rest of the penguins for the first time. <laughs> 